Liz, a look at Grammy Award winner Sting performing in rough, raw, and unreleased live at Irving Plaza, his new CD DVD collection entitled Sting. 25 years, the definitive box set Willie, collection. Willie, where was Dorfman? It's available now. Where's Dorfman? Dorfman. I, and there is a special CD Dorfman of Ariel then. Dorfman reading poetry <laughs> that you can get in the store. No. Uh, Sting joins us now on the set. Welcome back. Nice to be back. Thank you. Well, he underlines a very important fact about what you've done through the years. You just don't go out and sing. You've wanted to make sure that you use your celebrity for, for important causes. Of course, in the 80s, 90s, beyond very involved with Amnesty International, which gets you uh, working with people yeah. like Ariel Dorfman. Well, I've always, I've always um, demanded citizens' rights, but that means also you have to have citizens' responsibilities. And as a citizen of the world, if you have a platform to, to, to say something useful, then you, you, should, you should use that. And so uh, I, I've tried to do that. I've succeeded in some things that I've tried to do, failed in others, but uh, I think it was always a worthwhile thing to, as a citizen, to do. Now, how are we doing? We're not doing great. Yeah. <laughs> I think the world is in a bit of a mess, and I'm not quite sure how we get out of that. Now, wait, 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 what's led us to this point? What's led us to it? I, I think what was said before about uh, truth-telling is an important thing. I think we need politicians to actually just say, this is how it is. And it's not going to be popular. It may lose me votes, but this is this is the real situation. And I think people would get respect from that. As as it is, they they tend to say what's expedient. You know, what what will get them votes. You know, and there was a great phrase in the paper the other day. It said, "We the people are having an e economic crisis. You the politicians are having an election." Hmm. That that was <laughs> Thomas it. Friedman. Yeah. You know, exactly. fantastically yeah. cogent. Read that one. Uh, little piece there of truth telling. Right. So you yeah. you went to politicians. So I'll just ask: Is there anybody in Washington, anybody on the landscape that gives you hope? You know, I, I was brought up in England in the, in the, the parliamentary system mm -hmm. where politicians have to get up in Parliament and say what they have to say, and if it's wrong or a lie, they get told. Uh, they get completely <laughs> horsewhipped publicly. It's wonderful. Here, you'd say anything you like, and no one contradicts you. Yeah. It's just you have a little sound bite, and you just say any nonsense you like. So I miss that parliamentary mm. struggle. You know, maybe you should bring that in. We the love tension. that. We yeah, love the now I agree that, with you completely. Now, speaking of um, speaking of of causes, yeah. you're going to be. Uh, getting back up on that horse again for another cause that you've been involved with uh, again this weekend on, on Saturday on your birthday. It's my birthday on Sunday. I'm 60 years old okay, and I'm being very indiscreet about that, it. That's just <laughs> not right. <laughs> it's it's not, not right. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. Let's do it. Let's do a shot here. Would you stop it? He looks better than Willie and I What's looked at, well, 17. Wait, we, need wait, to, we need to start yoga, Joe. What is it? Do you do yoga? I do yeah. yoga. I work out. Do you eat well? I eat pretty well. Uh -huh. I drink you, coffee. But you drink I eat, coffee now. Oh, you're back on coffee. I'm back on espresso. Thank you. It's a combination of 50% vanity and 50% discipline. Yeah. That's, but, uh, that's a really good way of putting it. The thing it. is, vanity I've got never really vanity. got me over the hump. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand it. It's just so I guess I need some discipline with discipline. the vanity. You ought no, to listen to him. So, but, but, but you're, so, so sa Saturday night, so, you're, you're playing for a very important I'm playing for the Robin Hood Foundation, which do fantastic work in the city. Uh, I'm very pleased to support them. But I'm being very indiscreet about my 60th birthday, inviting my friends to come and sing my songs. So we've got Billy Joel, Bruce Springsteen, Lady Gaga, Rufus Wainwright, Stevie Wonder, oh, wow. Will God, I Am. It's be amazing. It's, it's a pretty good stellar, you know, list. So, so match the stellar artists with the stellar Sting songs. Who's going to yeah. sing what? Um, we're negotiating at the moment. There are some <laughs> really? songs that would fit others and some that wouldn't. But uh, yeah, it's do they have requests? Like, are they? Are they? Are they uh, some not people want to do the same song. We have to sort of fend them right. off, you know. But uh, <laughs> it's going to be a good, a good night. That's I'm going to play bass and sing back up. Are you really? <laughs> How exciting is that going to be for you? Fantastic. Oh, my God. That's amazing. And what does Robin Hood Foundation do? They really help underprivileged people in the city. You know, people who you know, lack the, the basic wherewithal to, to live. And I think that's a, it's a great thing to do. Looking back over your 25 years, um, what's, um, what, are you, what are you the most proud of? Probably my family. 
You know, I have a great family. All six kids, my kids are coming to the show on, uh, oh, that's on Saturday night. Um, my uh, lovely how, wife. How many kids do you have? Six. I thought you said six. That's it's almost as much as Barnacle. Well, What's that? He's the one behind Barnacle. A lot of kids. He's one behind Barnacle. There's always time sting. I have three boys and three girls, and they're fantastic. Very talented, wonderful individuals. And they're all going to be there? They're all going to be there. My brother, my two sisters, people I played with back in Newcastle are coming over. Ah. Uh. That's great. So it's going to be a big, a big night. You give some indication of this in the artists that you'll be performing with on Saturday night. But who do you look at today in the in the music landscape? Lady Gaga is an interesting choice paired with Rufus Wainwright. Are there a few young acts that you're really impressed with? Right you know, now? I'm very impressed with Gaga. I think uh, she really can play and sing. I mean, and she has a very integrated idea of what it is to be a star. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I hope she has the energy to, to keep that up. But seven, seven days a week, 24-7, she is Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's pretty intense. She's also an activist. How important do you think that's been? I mean, over your you know, career, I love, you I love the things activist. she says. I love the messages she gives to yeah. her audience. They're yeah. very positive messages, and I think that's, that's do needed. Do you think that's central, though? Do you think you can just do the, the talent part, or do you think you have to stand for something bigger now? Uh, from, from my point of view, I like people who can speak up and say, this, this, is, this is wrong, we should change right. this. And she's one of those people. She's very outspoken and very intelligent. Mm -hmm.